bus. They came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books to see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Tommy. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Tough day today, Tom. Frank sees a Lapara, you'll know. The old ways work. And now for the latest news. The Navy is today continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off the New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivor's rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has described the loss of the Akron as a national disaster. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? 
Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. No, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom? What's going on? Seven of the Gold Series. And by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. Of course, this occasion, more than any other, could prove feisty, what with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancers star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying, he commands respect from his team, that is for sure. By goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers. Elms, Graves, and Nicholson. Smith seemed to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Armory, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. Scheduled music programs and regular news bulletins brought to you by Lost Heaven Radio. In need of refreshment, a boost, or a pick-me-up? Then there should be only one name on your lips. Swift Cola, the energy kick that's a taste sensation. When you're in need of a lift, choose Swift.
looks like the place. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to coverage what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation. be some kind of meat happening. something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Ah, uh, shit. They've taken you to the airport, Frank.
Christ. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. What's going on? They're with the FBI. It's some sort of handle. Someone's being flown out. Oh, well, they're handing him over to who? Those men with the plane look like gangsters. How long did it done? I'm due to fly. Hey, please, be more Soon careful. they fly their prisoner out, I guess. I don't know. A lot of these men don't look like cops. Take... Show his so face good. for a rat like you. Nah, get in the car. I heard there's some guy the feds are handing over. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. 
Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, you... I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Beautiful day, huh? Uh huh. Trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me.
I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio, when I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si. Who capisce you? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Favori. Parli almeno un po' di italiano? Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh. I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Ah, uh, please. Uh, 
uh, ¿dónde está? Entriamo dal laberinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Ok, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. Sì. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Sì. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro casa forte. Open safe. Christ. Ok. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Eccellente. A volte questo paese è stupendo. Ecco, entriamo da lì. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno il laberinto. I guess.
Someone in the maze with us! I think that's all of them. Salvatore! Where are you? We're clear. Tommy! I hear! Where the hell did he go? Sono qui, Tommy! Guy's a pain in the ass. Sei un tipo tosto, eh? What? C'è un'entrata. Open. Kick. What kind of lock looker are you? Look for a dipinto. Uh, what? Um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio... Uh, Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? Si, si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. Only wall behind here. Show me what you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza.
Salvatore, stay back! I'll deal with him. It's your first time. Forza! Andiamo to there! Presto! Esamina gli sfiri! I know! Whatever you're saying, I know! Police? Salvatore. Salvatore. Where do I take you now? Home. Yeah. Where home? Uh, six uh, and uh, my pole. Okay. Let's go. Devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa. Ed è tutta colpa tua. Porca puttana! Tommy, devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa. Ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' di italiano. Per rispetto della nostra patria. Ah, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so. Ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Uh. Good night. Night. 